Imagine this, your thoughts, your memories, your entire consciousness, copied, saved, and reborn inside a machine. No body, no heartbeat, just you, living as pure data. But what is the mind, really? It's not a single organ, not something you can touch or see. It's a storm of electricity, billions of neurons firing in patterns so complex they create imagination, memory, emotion, and you. Mind uploading, the dream of transferring consciousness into a computer, sounds like science fiction. But it's more than that. It's a hypothesis built on three haunting assumptions. Assumption 1. Your mind exists entirely inside your brain's structure, arrangement, and chemistry. Every thought, every emotion, every moment of love or fear, all encoded in the physical connections between neurons. Meaning that, in theory, if we could map it all, every cell, every signal, we could recreate it. Assumption 2. Someday, we'll understand the brain well enough to simulate it. We're already close. Scientists can record memories, alter emotions, and even predict decisions before you're aware you've made them. AI models mimic neural activity, and brain mapping projects are slowly revealing the blueprint of consciousness itself. Assumption 3. A computer can host your mind. If the brain is a biological machine, could software replicate it? Could consciousness exist inside silicon instead of flesh? Here's where things get strange. If you upload your mind, the copy might believe it's you, with all your memories, your voice, your past. But your original self? You'd still be here. You'd die, while a perfect version of you continued, somewhere else. So would that copy really be you, or just a mirror that thinks it is? Philosophers call this the continuity problem. If your consciousness is interrupted, even for a moment, are you still the same being when it resumes? When you sleep, you wake up and think, yes, I'm me. But if your brain was scanned and destroyed, and a computer simulation woke up saying, I'm me, who's telling the truth? It's a question that tears apart the meaning of identity, immortality, and even the soul itself. Maybe mind uploading isn't about living forever, but about ending yourself in a way so convincing no one, not even the machine, will notice you're gone. And if that's true, then the path to digital immortality might not be about preserving life, but perfectly simulating death. So let me ask you, if tomorrow you could upload your mind, memories, emotions, everything, would you do it? Or would you be afraid that the you that wakes up isn't really you at all.